Tonight we're at the Colosseum uh, for the performance of Nico Muley's uh, new opera, Marnie. Now, if that name's familiar, um, it's because it's based on the same source material as the film by Alfred Hitchcock, though they are at great pains to point out that this is not based on the film by Alfred Hitchcock. Um, it's had fairly mixed reviews, um, but I am going in with an open mind and hoping to see something that may be a potential new classic. Marnie was a treat for the eyes. They made clever use of light projection to change the interiors for the different scenes in the production, which was very versatile and not overdone. The costumes were outstanding, uh, particularly the 60s style for Marnie and for the shadow Marnies, who I think they could have used more of. The music reminded me a bit of Benjamin Britten, particularly in the choral scenes, and maybe also John Adams. Now, I love operas from both those composers, so I was left wondering why this didn't move me in the same way. I think it's because the music was a bit samey throughout. Um, the, the composer said that there's often a tension between the surface that's represented by the vocal line and the reality that's coming through the orchestra. That's fine, but the lack of variation uh, I found made it a bit tiring to listen to. Staging was best in the choral scenes at the start, in Marnie's first workplace, and in the bar scene. I thought that the psychoanalysis session also worked well because the shadow Marnies came into their own in that scene. I also liked the way that they handled the key fox hunting sequence towards the end of the opera. I thought Sasha Cook did really well to breathe life into Marnie, and there were strong performances from the other cast members too. Overall, it didn't really engage me emotionally or dramatically, but it was interesting to see a new crowd at ENO. Now, I didn't interview everyone there, but I got the impression that there were a lot of opera newcomers there, and the applause and cheers and shouts after the performance showed that they liked it a lot. I won't be rushing to see it again, but I can see a revival happening. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share and hit subscribe to get notifications of new videos every week. Take care and I'll see you next Sunday with a review of Tchaikovsky's Eugene Onegin by Opera Up Close at the Arcola Theatre.